All right, for question four, how many road segments cross the data validated perennial network? So the question here is, how can we do a select by location in the right order so that we're selecting the road segments? So our perennial network would be the selecting feature, and then we'd be selecting the roads. But this is a really uh, poorly <laughs> chosen question because a road segment is such a uh, arbitrary thing. It doesn't have a specific length, and what would that mean for anybody anywhere? But to answer this question the way it is, we want to get a count of road segments that basically you know, intersect or cross uh, the stream network. So yeah, the colors here are a little bit unintuitive, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. All right, so we've got blue and then purple roads. And the way I would approach this is just to try a select by location. And I would be my selecting features because I want how many road segments cross the stream, the selecting feature would be the stream. And then the input features that I want to be choosing, this is what's going to be selected. Features from this data set will become selected. So I want the roads up here. And intersect works just fine. I don't need a search distance. So just on first glance, if we look in the attribute table of the roads, we can see that we've got 573 road segments um, out of the 5,686 possible road segments. Um, and, you know, then it's a matter of kind of zooming in and figuring out if it makes sense. And um, I'm not, Garen, I'm not uh, convinced that it does really make sense to do it this way. Here, this might be a good example. Let's close this. All right, so this is a road segment, uh, and it looks like it cruises right along the stream. So it's intersecting it here and here. Um, and I believe this is just one segment, but we could test that by grabbing our select. Yeah, so when I select this line, it is just one segment, but it's actually crossing the stream twice. So I don't know, for whatever that's worth, it's, I think it's a bad question. The key is to get that set up the right way. Um, I saw a lot of really creative solutions to this or workflows. Um, one was to create um, a node or a point every time they cross, um, and then you could count the nodes. But that's going to get a different answer. That's going to be more like how many times does the road cross the stream. And we're just looking for the count of segments, road segments that crosses the stream. So even though this one actually crosses it twice, it just counts as one segment, which is what the question asked. Um, if we set up select by location the wrong way, let me clear that out. And maybe the wrong way is a little harsh. Um, but this is going to choose stream segments that touch the roads. And, and that's not what the question asked. It's the road segments that we are interested in getting a count of. And so those are the things that we need to be selecting. But if we do this this way, you can see it's a very different kind of selection. Um, the stream segments are a lot smaller. It looks like a lot shorter. So if we open up that attribute table, we get a count of 1,794 stream segments arbitrarily lengthed that intersect the road. Um, so that, that would be the inverse and not correct. Um, it would be closer to the first one. And then how else could you do this? Uh, you could probably try running the intersect tool. Let's see what happens if we do that. No, I haven't tried that. All right, intersect analysis. We want the roads, and it doesn't matter what order we put those in. The output feature class, it's just giving it a new name. Um, we can choose to join all the attributes. It's going to be simpler than uh, trying to figure out. And I think we do want to keep track of which is which. And then the output type, 
uh, usually defaults to the more simple geometry, but it's lines and lines. And so um, we could do that. Uh, we could try and output points here. Maybe it'll let us, yeah. Um, but first, let's see what happens. Ah, no, I'm kind of curious to see what happens with points. All right, that runs quickly. Let's open the attribute table and see how many features we have in here. 2,074. So again, way too many. If we're trying to get a count of the roads, it doesn't really get us there. But it is a really uh, interesting way to find out how many times the road intersects the stream. Um, because you can see here, our one road segment is being counted twice, uh, which would be, I think, a lot more interesting uh, to know. All right, so again, um, a lot of ways that you could probably go about this um, if your answer differs from uh, what I had in the answer form and you feel like you've got a justifiable workflow, we can talk about that this week. Um, but there you have question four.